The Russian embassy in South Africa has tweeted pictures of a new ground effect vehicle or GEV, the Cheka A050, which it claims will be ready by 2020 to 2022. The unusual aircraft, which flies just a few feet above the surface of a body of water, will act as a passenger transport carrying up to 100. A basic aerodynamic principle is that the closer a wing operates to the ground, the more efficient it becomes. That isn't a factor for most aircraft, which endeavor to stay far away from the ground during the vast majority of their flying hours. A ground effect vehicle, on the other hand, embraces the increased wing efficiency by hugging the surface of an ocean, lake, or other body of water. GEVs fly over water because it is universally flat without obstacles and safer to crash on in the event of emergencies. The Soviet Union was an early pioneer in GEV research building the so-called Caspian Sea Monster in the mid-1960s. At 544 tons, the Caspian Sea Monster was the largest GEV ever built. The Soviet built a number of military GEVs, the A-90 or Leonik functioned as a military transport while the giant Loon class Akrano plan had six Moscow anti-ship missiles. The Loon is no longer in service but is visible via satellite, it's parked on a floating barge in Caspias, Dagestan. According to a 2015 report by ValueWalk.com, the Cheka A050 will travel at speeds of up to 300 miles per hour, with a range of 3,000 miles. It will be able to carry at least 9 tons of cargo or 100 passengers. However, a Sputnik news report indicated that the Russians could install the BrahMos missile on the new Akrano plan. On the other hand, a craft that flies low under surface radars, can attain speeds of 250 to 350 miles an hour, and can quickly disgorge troops on a beachhead might be very useful to the Russian military and other armed forces around the world. Ivan Ansev, the scientific production enterprise radar MMS general manager, said the new GEV would be capable of serving in the interests of the Russian Ministry of Internal Affairs, the Ministry of Transport and the Defense Ministry.